Hello everyone, this is Magbo Gaming here and today the game has finally arrived. One of the games I was talking about in limited run last year, Triple DX. Yep, this game will be the unboxing for today. So I'm gonna show you more in detail what it looks like. Yep, it says limited run games right here. Triple DX. It has arrived to me a couple days ago. I haven't had a chance to film it until now. Here is the back, looks pretty nice and classic, it's developed by Sunsoft right here. It's still sealed in the box and everything because I was waiting for this video to do the unboxing. So let's take a closer look at this thing, unbox it and see what goodies is inside this thing. And then we're also gonna test the game out on one of my Game Boys. So, Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna open this now. I'm gonna get my trusty scissor. I'm gonna be very careful opening it. So just give me a sec. Just wanna open up a little hole there so I can get it out. So I'll fast forward this thing so you don't have to see me struggling with this thing the whole time. Okay, we finally got an opening right here. So we're gonna unseal it. Mm-hmm. Okay, now the thing's open. So, we're gonna open this thing real quick. Try to open it on both sides here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's pull this out real quick. Yep, I'm seeing the cartridge already. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It only comes with the cartridge and this manual. So, here it is, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> the story so i'm glad that limited run games when they make their game boy games they still have a decent manual here and these are some of the gameplays here uh-huh this is what it's gonna look like when you receive the game and then we have more stuff the characters right here we got the other stages yeah i really like the art style of the game so far from what i'm looking at i haven't played this yet but mm-hmm and then we have abilities and attacks. We have some comic book strip. That's gonna be interesting to read for a bit. And a little bit more comic book right here. And then we got the credits. And then if you wanna take notes, well, there it is. This is the back of it. And this is the front of it. Now I'm going to take this off the bubble wrap so I could show you the cartridge in person. Oh, wow is actually a transparent cartridge this time. Look at it guys. It is limited run. I just want to put it side by side with the Hime's Quest that's also new. That I also did an unboxing for a few months ago. Yep, this is both games side by side. They both have their own color cartridge and everything. So that's pretty nice. So this is the front of it as you can see. And this is the back of it. Oh wow, it actually says limited run right here on the cartridge ship inside. You could actually see it this time. Of course, back here, since this is not transparent, you're not gonna see it here. But I'm pretty sure it does also say limited run in this cartridge as well. So yeah, this is what it looks like, guys. Now, last but not least, we're gonna test this game out. So we're gonna put it on one of these Game Boys. I'm gonna try it first on the Game Boy Advance, the backlink screen. And then I'm also gonna try here on the Game Boy Color. Yep, the Chinese Game Boy. Let's see how they work on both of them. So as you can see here, I just put the game in. This is Game Boy Color. And let's see if it works. Oh, no battery. Whoops, blooper. Okay, now we have the Sunsoft logo. And we're gonna look through the whole thing right here. Mm, looks really nice. And it's, this is the first time it's in color, by the way. The original game of this right here, what's a Game Boy game? It was a very rare Game Boy game, one of the most expensive out there. Look at the prices for these. And for the first time ever, it's being remastered in color. And it's also on the Switch as well, and PS4. So, of course, you're going to play it in modern consoles as well. But I chose the Game Boy Color because... 
I want to play it where it's meant to be played, but I also wanted the color enhancements as well. So that's why I chose this version, pretty much. Okay, so we go to... Oh, they're already taking you to the first world. Okay. So you do this, uh-huh. So the B button is to actually uh, kick right here. And A is to jump. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're only doing a little gameplay, of course. We're gonna also test it out on the um, Game Boy Advance. So, as you can see here, it's working just fine. So, what does this mean? Oh, okay, once you install flowers on it, it's going to be friendly towards you. It doesn't really hurt you, though. Of course, you'll get damage if you go to the spikes. I still don't know what it's um, meant to do, so if anyone in the comment section below can clarify that, that would be great. Because these enemies don't really damage you, but you they, they kind of just stop you on your, on your tracks. Oh, okay, so there's no way around. Yeah, that enemy definitely attacks you, so yeah, you're not, you're not going to go to that spike. So yeah, let's test it out on the other Game Boy real quick, and we'll see the difference in how it looks as well. Remember that my Game Boy Advance is backlight screen as well. Okay, so now I have this game on my Game Boy Advance. This brand new game from Limited Run. This should be working great. Okay, you could here you could switch between you know four by three or widescreen pretty much. And we'll, and you know we're not we're gonna skip that. World one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you get the idea. So obviously, in a Game Boy Advance, it does look a lot better, obviously. So, you know, I'm just testing the comparison of the screen quality. So now, this power-up gives you the power to plant seeds on the enemies. It's kind of weird, because they don't really damage you, so you just stop them on the tracks and stuff. We're gonna go a little bit further on this version, um, the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, this one kind of just, you know, runs around. But let's try on a porcupine, shall we? Oh, it doesn't work on a porcupine. That's interesting. Yeah, so it doesn't work on a porcupine. Anyways, let's see what that flower down there does. I wonder why it didn't hurt me, though. Hmm. I think that's probably life. That, you know, that if you're taking damage, it's probably going to regain your health. That's my guess, of course. Okay. Oh god. Didn't mean for that to happen. So you don't really have to worry for the enemies to, to actually damage you too much. But they could knock you to a spike, so you gotta be careful. I don't know what that what the heck that is, but okay. But yeah, um really nice game so far. Really enjoying it. So yeah, I guess we could go to the conclusion of this whole thing right now. So let's do this. What do I think of my first impression of me playing Trip Roll DX. It seems like a pretty interesting platformer. I don't know much about this yet, so probably as I continue playing it, be able to have more answers for you there. Maybe I'll do a review on this thing later on. I may start getting back to game reviews. I'll see what I can do because I used to do that a lot on my old channels. I like the transparent cartridge. It's pretty interesting. You don't see anything else like that. I like how they show limited run. You can see it back here. This cartridge right here was originally on the Game Boy. The regular Game Boy it came out like in the 90s, like the early 90s. And now Sunsoft is teaming up with limited run games in order to make a color version, a more modern color version of this game, not only on the Game Boy Color, but also on the Switch and PS4 or PS5 and stuff. So you could choose your way of wanting to experience this game. And there's also restocks of the original Game Boy version. Keep in mind that the original game as a whole, it's in Japanese, I believe. I, I think it only came in Japan, correct me if I'm wrong. And it's super expensive. Like I showed you right here with this price. Definitely if you have been able to pick up this game. It's already been sold out for a while on limited run. This took me like almost a year to receive this game. I remember I ordered it back in May of last year. So pretty crazy I must say. So 
that's my whole conclusion of this whole thing. I hope you like the unboxing. Let me know what you think about this game in the comment section below. Would you like to play this game? Maybe if you would like me to actually stream this game at some point, I could probably do that as well. So I could actually introduce the game to more people. And good luck getting these cartridges, but they're a lot more affordable than the original one. So definitely if you could look it up on eBay, I guess even if it's a high price, it's still worth it compared to getting the original one for thousands of dollars or so so magbo says i hope that you enjoy the hunt good luck getting the limited run games that you want this has been the unboxing of triple dx for the game boy color i'll see you all in the next video magbo gaming out bye bye if you enjoyed this video, check out my other related videos here as well. I also have a Discord server you can join for the video game collecting community and an Instagram you can follow as well. I even got some merch you may want to check out my T Public link below. Hope to see you again soon.